Today, Vulture T-Rex Distortion. Can we do that one again? I, I think it wasn't sincere enough. Today, Vulture T-Rex Distortion. Much better. Thank you. <laughs> Um, as you can clearly see, uh, Michiel is here, came all the way from Denmark. <laughs> that other Holland. Um, and uh, we're going to Toma tomorrow and do... Um, no, no, Michiel, I, I, I need to be on the screen. It's... it's, it's you, you know what it will cost you to get you back on the screen. Michiel is an amazing Belgian, the only country that matters in the world. Close enough. Definitely more than Holland. <laughs> okay. How, how do I get a close up of you? <laughs> so, um, hey, uh, I got pedals here uh, to test for Toman, which means I have a chance to test them for you on my channel independently without A being paid, without B keeping the product, without C knowing shit about it at all. I just slapped it on the table. I don't know anything about it. And we're testing it. Since it says distortion, I'm gonna say humbuckers are fine. Wait, that's the shirt I had in the last um, video. We can't do that. Need a different okay. shirt, something with green. I'll be right there. We're taking this distortion into a whole bunch of amps. I should probably, probably put them in the cleaner mode. Yep. Okay. Because, because with a distortion pedal, you don't necessarily want to push an already pushing amp. You, you know, so we need clean platforms, which we have. Starting with the Rev Dynamis on clean, which sounds like so. And I have two mics from Lewitt in the middle of the room. The LCT three forty in stereo. Thank you, Lewitt. Uh, these mics will. Um, sometimes we blend it in and if I do that then you'll hear it I'm not even gonna put that on the screen because I'm too lazy you're pretty much gonna hear room sound when you hear room sound don't be stupid you can't distinguish room sound from a closed mic sound come on a closed mic sound of course is provided by the Ox by Universal Audio um, I might if I wanted to depending on the sound I'm getting with this 412 loaded with cream backs also go into the torpedo by two notes in the rack right there torpedo studio because it rocks and rules and all that stuff um so here's my clean sound. Gain down, we'll turn this on and see what mayhem ensues. I like what I'm hearing. Bright. And thin, but of course. There's a super smacky attack happening.
And here we can, apparently we can boost areas. <laughs> It feels like everything's happening in the mids with this pedal, which is kind of cool. Low boost out, all the way left. It's all round. Uh, Henning, I hate to interrupt, but I just noticed that it says fat boost, and now I'm offended. What? What? Why are you offended? I just don't like it. It's called fat boost. I'm fat. I, I, I think there are companies really should think about the name of their products. I. This is an important message. Are you talking about the feline liquefier issue? What, what, what? I might be. Ah, okay. Well, both of them are Danish as far as I know. So should it be the obese boost? Well, better, yeah. Overweight boost? Rounder? Rounder. Could Fuller. lose it could lose a few pounds boost. <laughs> it's uh, the the low boost which of course is politically correct um definitely adds a lot of nice and roundness whereas the fat boost or the politically incorrect fat boost <laughs> it's more mid so let's see what the tone does <laughs> I know what I have to do. I want more of this. I want a little bit more of the mids that the could you lose, could lose a few pounds boost gives me. And I want a lot of this low thing. Props to FGN for making the LS30, which this is. 1849, that's a pretty awesome... Let's call it single cut. It's a less poor command. can really dial in the creaminess the roundness you can dial it in thinner and more bitey it takes some getting used to i wish these tiny knobs were not tiny knobs and also um i wish they had freaking like lines on them so let's go into the friedman small box which sounds like so tiny bit of hair on it just like michiel Thank you. 
a little bit too much there. I can't play that anymore. Um, I don't know there. Uh, pushing the f uh, Friedman Dirty Shirley, which I set up to sound like so. a bit much now but not bad at all um going into 12 was the what's that called that thing the the cheaper one jet city emilia pretty damn awesome amp and on the thinner side let's see if we can make the vulture work But not 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 like in the dynamis or something. It's, it's you twiddle with it a bit. Maybe you have to twiddle with the amp. Uh, you can get much better sounds than the one we just got when we switched to it. Um, and let's go into the Laboga Diamond Sound 50 Fully Boutique Super Mega Amp, which is right behind me. It's right there. Hand wired goodness from Le Poland, which is Polish for French. Apparently, Michelle needs to go to the bathroom or something. T-Rex, Vulture Distortion, what have we learned? I loved what I could get in the Dynamis. It was pretty cool in the Friedman, in the small box and the Dirty Shirley. And the small box, it was fizzling a bit. Um, the other two arms, yeah, but I was kind of trying to fiddle with the frequencies Kind of like I'm in this chair, I'm like here or there, I don't know, should I, should I be over here? It feels, I'm, I'm fidgety. And that's what I was doing with the controls. 
I, I could get it warmer, but then all of a sudden something was missing in the frequencies here. So it, it kind of felt like, you know, these Chinese guys with the plates on the sticks. It was like, oh, here and here and here and here and here oh, and spin and spin. Yeah, yeah, exactly like this. And then spin it and, you know, and do it. Thank you. Thank you for illustrating that for me, Michio. Uh, it didn't really feel like I had all, all that I wanted. Oh, that you want, isn't it a vulture? I don't know. Um, but it can do a lot with the low boost and the, uh, you have to lose a few pounds boost. Um, tone is a classic high frequency roll off. I don't know how much it is. You have to test it on your amp. Are you using it for rhythms or for leads? I think it can do both but you have to spend time with it. It's not a turn it on and it's like, whoa, how amazing. To turn it on and like, oh, 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 but maybe a little bit even after that, that was after that. you know, that kind of pedal. Links below. Again, unpaid video for you. And thanks, Michiel. You are also not getting paid for this. It's just a fact of life for you that you have to deal with. No puppy, no puppy face. No sad puppy face, no. No, no. Okay, you get it. You get a doggy bone. Um, <laughs> and um, links below. Animals at the end. Uh, thanks to my patron people. I love you so much. And also you, Michio. Thank Bye -bye. you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Sing along.